Hello everyone, welcome. Um, my name is Asker and uh, I'm a travel agent for Kilroy. Today I'm here in the Copenhagen store and we are going to talk about how to pack your backpack. First off, let's talk about uh, the backpack. So this is my backpack, which I brought in today. And it's, uh, it's probably 60-70 liters, which is uh, quite big, uh, to be honest. So if you can, try to limit yourself to 40-50 liters, unless you really need to bring a lot of gear, uh, depending on the trip. For the first item, uh, we have clothing. So this is probably what's going to be taking up the majority of space in your backpacks. And today I just brought a small example about uh, some of the essentials. Obviously, uh, socks. Uh, maybe even ankle socks that uh, take less space, uh, maybe even from a bamboo product or uh, similar antibacterial products. Um, and uh, also, uh, of course, you want your underwear as well. We have um, today, we have some swimmers, some shorts, obviously, depending on your destination. You go into the tropics, bring loads of shorts. Um, if you're gonna hike a lot, uh, some long pants could be nice. Remember not to bring too many heavy jeans, like try to find a light material, polyester. The best idea would even be to bring like hiking pants, like proper zip on, zip off. So you can have your shorts during the midday in the hot sun. And in the evening when it gets a little chilly, you can put on those extra leggings. So that works really well um, to bring on some proper zip on and off pants. I've used that for, for years on end when uh, when out traveling, uh, especially if you hike a lot. Uh, bring all your cool shirts, guys. This is your time to show off well, well, all the other cool places you've been to. So this is uh, like a little bungee jump um, in New Zealand called the Nevis Bungee. And in general, yeah, remember lightweight clothing, right? Something stretchy, something preferably not made of cotton, um, but maybe polyester. And in general, just something you feel comfortable in and stretching in. Today I also brought um, my uh, takeoff clothing. So for flying, you need something you can move around in, and maybe also general transportation. You want something you can stretch in, and uh, that's not too tight. Um, so, um, so those are some good takeoff tips before you you go on the transportation. We have a nice hat, very outdoorsy kind right here. And uh, in general, yeah, if you're going to a sunny place, the tropics, Asia, Latin America wherever you're gonna be heading. It's good to be able to block off some of those uh, very hot rays of midday sun. So very essential is to bring a nice hat so you don't get sunburned and keep your head cool. And then, uh, yeah, like shoes is a big one. Um, some people prefer big hiking boots. Uh, I have these very worn off uh, hiking shoes or like uh, trainers, running shoes, as you would say. And uh, that's what I prefer. It's just very lightweight and efficient for, for most circumstances, even transportation or hiking around. Um, so good hiking shoes is a, is a big one, it's a big must. And don't bring brand new ones, guys. You want to make sure that you worn them out properly and they fit comfortably into your feet. And let's see what else we have here. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the last bag. Also, you might be wondering as why did you put everything in bags, so you could choose to put on a big rain cover on your backpack, which also works very nicely when you're at the airport or general transportation, but actually what I found out is that they sometimes they simply blow off your backpack when you're out hiking, so uh, I just followed a tip from a fellow hiker and he said why don't you just put all your clothing and valuables and electronics into plastic bags and voila. Uh, then you don't need to big, uh, put a big bag on top of your backpack, you just put your valuables inside small plastic bags, which is also very handy and way cheaper. Okay, let me just fill out um, these items. I'll go one by one. And this is a small bag. It's pretty much full of small necessities. So items that does not weigh or fill too much. I like to just bring a bag of those. I'm probably not going to be using it. like. But um, just having a small sewing kit, you know, having some rope, uh, having a ear plug, uh, and then maybe even some fishing uh, linen um, and uh, small basic necessities, uh, that's good to, to bring for me at least. Um, so that's my personal recommendation. Um, do really 
can reconsider, I would say, if you're bringing lots of big jackets, lots of bring, uh, lots of big um, sweaters, and big uh, sweatpants and etc. Like try to limit yourself. If you're bringing them along, just bring one good pair instead of too much uh, big and heavy stuff. It's gonna fill your backpack so fast, and uh, like, probably a third or half of your backpack will already be packed with just big clothing. Tissues, good to have in most situations. Um, especially when I mean, going to Asia, it's not it's not mandatory at every toilet. And um, yeah, and of course a first aid kit. So this is probably what you're gonna start off with. And uh, classic first aid kit. Uh, after a few years of traveling, you're probably gonna personalize it a bit and just bring the essentials. And especially if you have some personal medicines, stuff like this, you should also remember to bring that maybe in your toiletry bag as well. And then you have, uh, of course, your um, chargers. Remember that for all your equipment and in this combination, also remember your adapter. So you have all the necessary outputs and you have different kinds of inputs as well. So a good travel adapter for sure. We're about done guys with the, with the first category, the essentials, but let's just look at the last items. You might also guess some of the items that's left for essential. But uh, yeah, uh, a towel, most uh, vacations, uh, you're gonna need your own towel, especially if you're backpacking. Um, this is just a very lightweight one. Um, it still works. Uh, it's not as comfy as if you have a big towel, so that's kind of a personal thing as well. Uh, if you want to take up more space to have a little extra comfort. Um, let's, let's do the maybe most important uh, items, uh, actually. Uh, your passport, uh, for sure. And uh, remember to check if it's about to expire then you won't be able to, to enter. And also, yeah, just bring some cash. American dollars work in most countries. Um, a few hundred bucks should do. And you can pretty much hide those uh, money wherever you feel, uh, yeah, feel like. Um, put them in different spots so they're a bit spread out. And I also use small plastic bags for like uh, copies of essential um, Documents. So this is my passport copy. Uh, if you lose your passport, it's nice to have to show. Uh, and uh, yeah, a plastic bag so it keeps it nice and dry. It's uh, wet. Um, we have a health uh, card here with maybe some vaccines and stuff like this that could be required for some destinations. And this is just like uh, uh, my last used uh, international driver's license. Of course, if you're gonna be uh, on transportation or hostels in general, maybe the lights not out, but you wanna make it so, just bring this little piece of, uh, of equipment. And also for hostels, it's nice to have your own lock. Try to get one with numbers, right? Because if you, if you use one with your key and uh, you forget the key, it can be a bit of a hassle to get opened uh, as we as some of us know from experience, so so definitely, yeah, try to just make a key code instead. Yeah, hand sanitizer, always nice to have. And maybe the most important thing that it's not too important, but it's a really good icebreaker, I must say. I've spent many hours at bus stations and at hostels, just basically playing uh, with all kinds of new people from all around the world, and I love the game of Gambio, so do look Gambio rules up before you head out and you'll be able to find a lot of new good playmates. Yes, that was the essential guys. So this is uh, the most important items to put into your backpack. Let's also look at some of the extra items that could also be uh, quite handy uh, and maybe also just for inspiration. This is really good to have for, well, just general beach time showers, public showers. Um, but not really key essential. Also nice to have can be packing cubes. It just kind of press out the air a little bit extra of your clothing. Um, so put your clothing inside this and then a plastic bag on top and you have packed a very well packed backpack, as you see. A laundry bag, this is, it could also just be a plastic bag, but I just have this fancy one. Um, also uh, nice items, but not really essentials. Uh, a chevron. Some of you might know this under different names, so it's just like a big piece of clothing that's super lightweight, uh, lightweight and you can, you can use it as a little skirt or you can even put it around your head if it gets super hot or you can lay it on the beach, you can even dry yourself in it. Uh, you can use it for shading, you can use it at your dormitory for making a little bit more of a private area, you can hang it up on the mattress above. So you take the, 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 the lower bunk bed and this will work great for a little privacy. 
Um, so super purposeful, but again, it's not super key essential, but just nice to have. Also nice to have is this uh, extension cord, right? So you're at the hospital, there's one plug, it's on the top uh, of the wall, obviously. So you, you're kind of stretching up with your one charger here, and then everybody else also wants to charge their phone and you will have to take turns. No, you don't, because you just bring your own extra extending extension cord and everybody will be able to charge happily, right? So not really essential, but really nice to have. So also pretty lightweight, really. Almost done with the extra guys, but uh, let's just look at the last ones. Yeah. So this is uh, basically just a, called a sleeping bag linen. It's 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 nice to have if you want to have a, some extra comfort uh, in your hostel bed. Uh, if you feel a little cold, um, and if you don't want to to risk uh, dirty sheets, you just bring your own sheet, so to say, to sleep in. So it can also be useful. And um, next item. This is a dry bag. Uh, a dry bag, yeah, well, it's almost self-explanatory. Sorry, this is a 10 liter one, which means that you can put 10 liters of stuff in this, and then you just wrap it up, and you click it, and then it's uh, airtight and uh, waterproof as well. Um, maybe a good advice could be if you're going to the beach with your phone, which most people are, just bring this with you into the water, or maybe even uh, dig a hole and put it on the ground into the sand. Um, so not super essential, but nice to have. Um, Oh, we do have more stuff, guys. Let's see. Some last items from the extra category. A power bank. Really nice to have. Um, if you're out of juice, so to say, and uh, you're on a bus ride and it's 12 hours and you want to keep playing on your phone, you need a power bank. Unless you have a really fancy bus with USB plugs. Um, okay, this item, maybe <laughs> these last two items is a little bit interesting, maybe. So this is a fitness belt, right? Why do you need a fitness belt? Uh, it's usually what runners use when they're going uh, long distance and have keys and whatnot. Well, I sometimes use it in big cities. If you don't want to have your phones or your money or your other important uh, well, assets uh, in your pockets, then you can pretty much put this on you, under your clothing, right? So you just slip it on. And uh, yeah, nobody will ever be able to see what's hiding beneath. And uh, yeah, they're very purposeful. This one comes with lots of space for phones and uh, yeah, different essentials. So the last one is uh, definitely not a must have, but just really nice to have. This is a water purifier. So it basically, you uh, can basically screw it onto a bottle and then you just drink it. So if you're at your hostel, you have a water bottle, you just brought from the store, but you ran out of water, you don't want to go to the store to buy more plastic. You just fill up whatever tap water is available in that country and you screw it on and you have a, a new water bottle and it purifies it. So these can also be really cool to have. And it does a lot of different versions. You can also get powder. This one is actually just, uh, yeah, I think good, good for 100,000 uses or so it says. So it's still going strong. That was, the, um, that was the two main categories. So now we covered the travel essentials, like the basic what you must have and also a bit of like extras inspirational stuff. Now let's just quickly look at the last category, um, which I will uh, bring to the table for you guys. All right, so let's look at the last category. So this is the specialty category, right? This is the specific, and this kind of is different for each of us. Um, so what you can see right here on the table, that's uh, should we say my specialty, that's my customization. So what you see is, let's take it from big items. You see a tent. We will also have a um, sleeping mattress, air mattress, and a sleeping bag. So this is just my kind of thing, is to go hiking in the mountains, and, and this is some big items, they're quite heavy, and uh, that fills up a lot of space in, in the backpack. You might have a different hobby, maybe you're really into snorkeling or diving, you need your masks and everything. Uh, maybe you uh, enjoy other kind of uh, specific, uh, more customized uh, things. It could also be like road trip wise, if you want to do road trips, I have brought just a small piece of equipment here, which is yeah, basically for the windshield to stick up your phone with. It's something that you wouldn't really think of uh, when you're going on a road trip necessarily, but it's just never there in the car when you rent it. So this is really good to bring along if you have it. And maybe even a charger for, yeah, for, the, for the car as well. And we'll also have for, for this 
specific uh, specialty, which let's say it's hiking that we are going into right now. We'll have your trangia, where it's basically just a pot with a lid that you can use as well for a fryer. And then if you're gonna do a lot of bombing and you need this as well, which is just kind of to get the fire rolling, right? You'd also need some gas to go into this one. You screw it on on the top of the bottle. And so that kind of works together. Some people even use it at hostels, they use their own equipment, but more specialized for camping for sure, if you're going hiking. Uh, just cutlery, uh, lightweight, uh, soap and uh, washing. It's just really nice and handy to have when you're out there in the field and you have some running water, you just need to get your stuff clean nice and easy. Uh, a cup, um, you could also use uh, some of the fancier types that you can fold out. Uh, maybe you want cereal or you want your oatmeal in the morning. Um, so that's very lightweight, very practical, not a lot of space. And now we're going into the real hardcore survival, guys. This is a survival blanket. Um, so probably also mostly purposeful for this type of trip, which is hiking. Uh, but it's basically if it's super cold, uh, then you can uh, wrap this around you and you'll keep warm. Um, also nice to have uh, a rain cover. Um, a raincoat, should I say. Obviously, if you're going to the Andes, or if you're going to Nepal, North America, Scandinavia, places where there's a lot of rain, you want something good. You want a nice, proper rain coating, and this probably wouldn't do you any good. Um, but if it's just for one-timer, uh, if you're in the tropics maybe, you would also want something to be very lightweight, you could use a one-timer, and maybe even reuse it on your trip. But remember, guys, no matter if you're going to Asia or the tropics or you go to South America and the Andes, think layers as well because it's always nice to have some layers with you. Don't bring like big 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 uh, jackets, bring maybe like an outer layer which could be windbreaker rain cover and then bring a warmer inner layer which could even just be like a switch shirt, maybe even a bit hotter as well. And then lastly, if uh, you're going camping especially, mosquito repellent is uh, super important as well. Buy it maybe locally. Um, that way you will ensure that the deep content is, is best for that local area specific and also sun lotion uh, you can bring it from home um, today we didn't bring it and um, as you probably have an easier time getting through security and everything if you just um, buy it locally as well so going local could uh, also make sense for those kind of last minute deals and maybe that should also just be a general advice that you could always buy stuff locally when you get there during your trip Trust me, there will be stores, especially if you're flying to an airport or with a big capital build, uh, cities. You will have a lot of opportunities to shop those extra items that you forgot uh, or that you didn't decide to bring. So our biggest advice would probably be pack everything that you've seen from these three categories, the basics, the extras, the customization, so the specifics, and then kind of even try to remove half of it again, because you are gonna have so much stuff in your backpack you have to carry it the whole time. So try to see if you can just fill it maybe halfway through that way you can also ensure to bring lots of cool items with you on the go and maybe you'll find some useful stuff locally as well. And uh, yeah, of course, just uh, the last knives here and the uh, wine opening, bottle openers, etc. could also be nice to have. That's all from today, guys. That's uh, the three main categories. I wish you best of adventures and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Thanks for now.